In Oshkosh news, members of the Oshkosh Fire and Police Departments honored the fallen from 9-11 in a special way today. And Local 5's Paul Evenson has more on their second annual Battle of the Badges. First responders in Oshkosh came together today to not only honor the fallen from 9-11, but to fill a critical need for the American Red Cross. We do have an urgent need for blood, um, especially in light of Hurricane Dorian on the East Coast and all of the blood drive cancellations that we've seen occur because of that disaster. Well, I think it's important that we as a fire department have a good working relationship with them. Um, and, and it's great to see people from the community coming out and to donate today. Uh, I think it's just spreading more of an awareness. Along with helping to restock the Red Cross's blood supply, the second annual Battle of the Badges pitted the two departments against each other in a friendly wager to see who could get more blood donors by day's end. If the fire department wins this Battle of the Badges, we're going to bring them some donuts, and if we win, they're going to make us some chili. Community donors were asked to choose which department they wanted to donate for. Both sides hoping to claim victory in a battle where the real winners are those in need. The fire department is winning right now, so we're hoping to see some more people come out and um, choose the police department for their vote. I was sneaky suspicion that we're going to be getting donuts tomorrow morning, so I can't wait to have those with my cup of coffee. Reporting in Oshkosh, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News. All right, update, update. We are told the fire department will be enjoying their donuts tomorrow, courtesy of the police department. Organizers are already planning to hold the event again next year. I guess they have a good sense of humor, <laughs> right? Ryan Rodig's here.